happening everybody? Scott Mendenhall here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. We've got a hack for you to solve the engagement sensor issue on your front foot pad on your one wheel. This will work across all one wheels. It's a little time effort for you, but you're gonna love this one. You're gonna need to get your front foot pad off of your one wheel and we'll give you the hack that's free for you. So let's get it started. If you just got a one wheel, you need to do this with your friend. <laughs> Look at my friend helping me. First step in the process of doing this little small hack that's free to you, remove your grip tape. You can use a blow dryer. You can use one of the, the heat guns. Just don't overheat your foot pad. Pull off your grip tape. That's the first step. You want to pull straight, like straight across horizontally of your foot pad. So you're pulling it. I mean, and it'd be great to put your other hand there and just keep pressure so you're not creating a bubble. Once you have it all off, you don't need to worry about getting all of the sticky stuff off of the plastic here, because that's the part we're gonna remove, the shiny stuff. Very thin piece of plastic that we're removing. Not the sensor, see the sensor's still there. And then you're gonna pull it off. I don't really suggest at this point, unless it's really stuck, just be gentle pulling straight down. To, you don't need to add a, a bunch of heat here. There's no grip tape in between the heat and the plastic and your foot pad sensor. So at your own risk, if it's not coming off well enough and you're pulling up your foot pad sensor, then by all means put a little bit of heat on there. Be careful. Again, a very soothing or satisfying feeling is when you tear it off. You are removing some of the things that might help in the waterproofing. I'm not the engineer that Somebody in one wheel's cringing that I'm telling you to do this or suggesting you do this. We got a race we're gonna film today and I was just being a good friend. This is Lily's one wheel, right? You know how you can check on the app like battery percentage because we didn't want Lily to get out there and talk about why she didn't race very well today because her one wheel wasn't charged. It's 96%. But the thing I noticed, she's owned it. When'd you get this? In December, early December. Early December, what is the current day? I know, I know the day because I started with, the, there's two reasons. I started with the day singing February 7 by the Avid Brothers. Go listen to it even though it'll be too late because it'll be no longer February 7th. And also I set a goal to make my bed every day. And I heard once that it takes 40 days to form a habit and I'm three days away from it. Lily, would you like to tell the world how many miles you've put on your one wheel since December? 10. 10. Probably not even. Uh, just to fill everyone in, she has gotten a little bit more than 10. Oh, yay! Because you yeah. rode it, she rode the trails and dirt surfers and things, but here's the, here's the honest truth. 26 miles, folks! That's pretty good! We're gonna ride more today. We're gonna we ride more. Get, I bet you we don't even get a mile in today. Well, it's winter in Minnesota. So this, you're just, you're just laying excuses. No. We gotta come up with a system. This is killing me. I think we're gonna transform this wall into a big old shelf and charging station. Stay tuned for that. Here's Legends. He just did the hack, so we've got the different grip tape on. The nice thing is that you'll notice when you go to just use your finger, you don't even have to press down near as hard. So it's gonna make your foot pad a little bit more sensitive, which is great. So we fixed it. It was a su super simple solution. I think the surefire way to fix it is the Sure Start system, now by Float Life, was Badger. There's two different ones. You've got the Pro and you've got the Standard. If you're not trying to do drops, you're not trying to do anything crazy on your one wheel, then just save the 50 bucks. I don't actually know what they're gonna charge it on, on floatlife.com, but save the money and just get the regular one. The Pro is reserved for you, those that mob trails or do a lot of drops. Then you want to, uh, get the pro to have those different um, ways of changing your device. But if you're not that kind of rider, then just save the money. There's your hack on how to fix the engagement problem. I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe to this channel. We're always dropping one wheel content. We try to be entertaining as well. We do races, we do experiments, all kinds of stuff. So thank you for everybody that joins in and watches everything. Drop a comment down below on your solutions to the engagement problem. I've seen people do felt pads and all kinds of shenanigans. Hopefully this one works for you.